Hi, welcome to Rectopage Software's YouTube channel Tech and Man. In this video, I, I'll show you how to create a snack bar in Android. Uh, on the screen, you can see what exactly a snack bar is. A snack bar is a uh, information or a brief feedback uh, given to the user about an operation through a message at the bottom of the screen. So, snack bar basically contains single line of text directly related to the operation performed. So, it contains only single line of text but it cannot include any images or graphics it can contain one action button here in the shown example undo is the action button so when you press on undo something else will happen so archived is a message and undo is a action we shall try to uh, replicate the same whatever is shown on the screen try to create this uh, snack bar in android studio so here I have created Android Studio project. Here I have created the Android Studio project. Uh, basically Android Studio project look like this. So make sure that you are in a Android view. So collapse the app. And very first basic requirement is we need to add a design support library to Gradle file. What exactly this design support library? So um, this um, snack bar is a part of uh, material design library which has been introduced uh, during a lollipop version that is 5.0 if you want to support snack bar to the lower version like a 4.3 4.2 in the lower version also if you want to see the snack bar working properly so you need to add the design support libraries so for adding this design support libraries we need to add a compile time dependency in the gradle file so collapse this gradle script in that gradle script build.gradle model colon app so you need to open this and you need to add one one line of code that is compile com.android.support colon design and the whatever the latest version is available during uh, your app, app build so you just make sure that you are pointing to the latest version and you build your file after when you finish adding this one line in the dependency you have to again resync it, rebuild it. So sync project with guide, Gradle. You can find this icon in the at the top title bar. So you can just press it. Android Studio will download the required library, whatever we have added now here, and uh, your project will be recompiled to make it compatible with the, all the available versions of Android. So after creating this. Our user interface files are stored in a RES and a layout directory. Let me open this layout directory and this is how our user interface file looks like. So let me, at the, at the beginning our user interface file will be a blank and uh, it will be containing the relative layout. So if you have any content within a relative layout, don't worry and you can modify this file if you want to follow my steps just delete whatever is in between the relative layout from the to here and we are going to enclose the contents of uh, our uh, snack bar project within this relative layout so i will add one button button here so uh, let me just choose a uh, width of the button is a uh, match parent that it should match the width of the parent that is screen size and the height of the button I will choose wrap content so height will be whatever the content is and the text appearing on the button we shall define by using the attribute text I will give uh, the text appearing on the button is a show is snack bar so the text appearing on the button is show snack bar and we shall have to describe one more attribute that is on click this attribute will be used to determine which function will, should be called when we press on this snack bar button. So, show. Uh, let me just give the name of this so on click as show. So, when you press on this button, function by name show will be called, which will be defined in Java file. I will show you that how to define it. So, this is the prerequisite of uh, creating the uh, creating the user interface so our motto is when you press on this button it should display as a uh, display a snack bar at the bottom of the screen so we shall make it center center in parent 
true so our our button has moved to the center at the screen so here is the output and the left side is the corresponding code related to the our user interface shown at the right side so uh, we need to show our uh, snack bar in this layout that is uh, in the relative layout so we need to get the id of this relative layout here we can find one attribute by the name id that is android column id and we need to note this activity underscore main activity underscore main is the id of this relative layout we are going to use this id during uh, when we create the snack bar so we need to remember the only two things one is the id of the layout in which we are producing the snack bar and the function of the button or on click of the button which function should be called when we press on this button so um, you you make sure that you are going to define the function by same name and there should not be any mismatching in the case uh, cases capital small letters of this on click function so better copy this function and navigate back to java file so here in the java file um, main activity we have opened all the corresponding code will be written here so we have to write one function public void show view v in some cases if a view shows any uh, error just place the cursor on view and uh, hit alt enter it will import the necessary libraries to include the view um, object in our project so when we press on the button this uh, function by name we will be called here first we will create the snack bar snack bar snack bar snack bar is a variable of type snack bar is equal to snack bar dot make so it will accept the two three argument here you can see if one is a uh, uh, first is a first argument will be the id of the layout where it is going to be shown find v by id r dot id dot activity main is the id of that relative layout where the our snack bar is going to be shown at the bottom of it so the second one is uh, okay, yes, okay. so according to this we are going to create the snack bar of this kind ar vd so we shall create a snack bar by the title yes chived archive and uh, the third one is how long the third argument for this uh, snack bar dot make is how long this uh, um, snack bar should be shown on the screen for that there are three values one value is snack bar long snap snack bar short and a snack bar indefinite um, so and these are all integer variables like um, for 5 seconds 10 seconds for indefinitely you can be able to show the snack bar for time being I can snack bar dot length long I will give so that it will show the snack bar for uh, um, at least 5 seconds on the screen so after creating the snack bar we need to run it uh, we need to show the snack bar so that uh, it will appear on the screen that says snack bar dot show we have done all the necessary modification to the project so our next step is to run this project and show the output see the output how this comes along so uh, let me just run the project again on my emulator so I have kept already emulator running so once um, installation finishes uh, we can able to see our output on the emulator so here is our expected output so our button has appeared on the screen show it a snack bar and according to us when we press on the snack bar the toast and uh, this um, snack bar should appear when we press on this button snack bar should appear at the bottom of the screen so, so press on the snack bar we can we are able to see the snack bar at the bottom of the screen it is only appearing on the screen for a uh, uh, few seconds and again it is disappearing but we are not able to see any action button here so we shall try to add an action button on this output so how to add action button so snack bar add the following code set action first two arguments it will accept one is the name of the action uh, and uh, the second name of the action and the second one is the on click listener on action 
we will do we will give name as on the action button as undo and uh, we will define we will define the action listener so just type new view dot and uh, click enter and it gives suggestion this uh, part of the code will be automatically generated so when you click on the button undo this part of the code which is being highlighted here will be executed so code which is corresponding to undo button will be written here for time being i'll just add one toast message here so let me just add toast dot make text get application context undo operation so it will show the undo operation on the screen at the bottom of the screen in a back background the text will appear on the screen as a toast message and again it will disappear the third argument is toast dot length long it also accepts one integer variable so this integer variable signifies that how long this toast message should be displayed on the screen so i have given i have chosen toast dot length long for at least five seconds it will be shown on the screen again it will disappear one more we have to call dot show so we will save it and we shall try to run this project on our emulator already been running so here is our corresponding output on the emulator so when i press on the snack bar we should be able to see the message archive and uh, the action button undo so here is our undo when i press on this it should show the toast message we are done with how to create the snack bar in android studio so if you have any doubts or comments please leave it leave at the comment section and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel tech and man you could ex you can expect many more videos of this kind coming up in our channel thanks for your support thank you